How are you? Well, thank you for coming. It's great to have you here. I love seeing you. I love seeing you, you too. Oh. And you know, I think about like people who are real locals. So when I think about <laughs> locals, I don't really necessarily think about Carol Burnett. But you're as local as it gets. You went to high school right across the street. Hollywood High. You shot your special right down the block. Yep. You lived, you grew up, you're in an apartment, like right like down the... Yucca and Wilcox. Right down the street. block north of Hollywood Boulevard. And uh, the neighborhood kids, we used to climb the Hollywood sign. You used to climb the Hollywood sign. The O's were my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> the O's seemed like the hardest ones. No, I don't know. There was, a, you know, back in the covered wagon days, it was it was like <laughs> rough scaffolding, and we, we had splitters, and it's a wonder we didn't break our necks, but yeah. we loved climbing the sign. Now they have snipers up there I if know. you try to climb <laughs> the sign. Right. You can't get near it. Yeah. Was this neighborhood, um, it's nicer now than it was back in the 50s, right? No. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have dirty SpongeBob and Spider-Man wandering no, around? No, no. Actually, it was kind of a nice neighborhood. We, we never had to lock our doors or anything like that. Oh, yeah. Now we don't even have doors. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to have you yeah, here. Boy, I, I wonder, when people call you a legend, do you like that, or is that... No. No, you don't. Yeah. I was wondering, because <laughs> most legends never existed, and you exist. Oh, I mean, I see you right here before my eyes. Here we are. <laughs> well, I think, though, with people, a lot of people, myself included, my family included, we'd watch you every Saturday night, and it was like a big part of our week, a big oh, part of our wonderful. lives, such a major thing. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. And Thank now you. to have this special uh, at, on your birthday, yep. 90, 90th yep. birthday. <laughs> I mean, to me, you know, you've always been famous, you know, but to you, I must, what, what is it like to have this body of work that goes back so far and is so beloved and important to people? What a question. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a, a tough, tough question, question to answer. Is, uh, well, I'm, I'm just thrilled to be here, and I'm, I, as I say, I'm happy that at this age, I've got all my parts. That's good. Yeah, I, I have my hips and my knees and I think my brain, so that's good, yeah. <laughs> You, it's interesting that you grew up in L.A. and then you started your career in right. New York, which is kind of the yeah. reverse of how a lot of people do it. Yeah. yeah. Out of college, you went to UCLA, right? Yes, I went to UCLA. And you moved... And then I got a chance to move to New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I had a benefactor who lent me the money to go to New York. Wow. Who was very... Uh, he was had... it Donald Trump? <laughs> oh. <laughs> was a low blow. <laughs> I just, I heard he likes to give money to women for no reason at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see, what were we talking we're about? We're talking about you moved to New York. I moved to New York. Just out of college. And, yes, and I had on borrowed money, and I didn't know where I was going to live, and I checked into the Algonquin Hotel, and it was $9 a night. Now, that was very expensive at oh, that time. it was, time. wow. You know, because when I was raised by my grandmother, we lived, you know, on Yucca and Wilcox in one room, and it was $30 a month. So $9 a day was quite a bit. Yeah. And I uh, had a chance to move to another place called the Rehearsal Club, which was uh, Brownstone on 54th Street, which housed 25 young women who were... I wanted to be in show business, who in the theater, and I had a the phone number of a friend who lived there, and she said, "Get out of the Algonquin and come up here." And it was called the Rehearsal Club, and it was eighteen dollars a week, room and board, that, which but, was pretty that's good. Better. Yeah. So I moved into one room with four roommates, five women in one room. I had a cot and a dresser, a closet, and one bathroom with all these. Five women. And, wow. uh, but do you keep? Did you keep in touch with any of those women? Do you remember them? Oh, I do. I yeah. do. Yeah, they were all different. There was one who'd been around the block a few times. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, then there was a, a one who was a Stanislavski actress who never bathed. Oh, great. And then there was another girl <laughs> who was from England. T Tinker Gillespie was her name. Real cute with curls and everything. Uh, she was British, but she was into Spanish dancing. And then there was a ballerina 
Yvonne Craig was her name, and she later became Batgirl. Oh, right. She was on Batman. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so there was the five of us. And I remember my grandmother sent me um, $20 to buy a, a coat because I'd never been in cold weather. Oh. You know, we lived out here in Texas and everything. So I, I bought a coat, and, and it was wool, and it had, was kind of nubby like the white and black and so forth. And I was really proud of that. I thought it was great. And I modeled it in front of the, the tough girl in the one that had been around the block. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I said, what do you think, Joyce? What do you think? She said, it looks like unborn linoleum. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was embarrassed to wear the coat from then on. Oh, <laughs> but, wow. Oh, but it was shame a, on a Joyce. Goal. It was a <laughs> shame. <laughs> Were you working at that time? I had a part-time job in a ladies' tea room as a hat check girl. Oh. Not too many women check their hats. <laughs> they wear their hats in? <laughs> yeah, they yeah. Wear their hat. But there was an oyster bar downstairs that the men would go to, and uh, but they would take their coats with them because they could hang them on some pegs downstairs. And, but once in a while, I'd grab one. I'd say, take, take your coat, sir, take your coat, sir. I get the coat. Okay, so now I have the man's coat, right? I only got my tips. I had no salary. So he'd be downstairs. I would take, you know, the little thing in the back that you hang your coat yeah, on. Yeah, that little loop. The little loop. Yeah. I would cut that off <laughs> like that, and then I would sew it back on with a different color thread. Then when he came back up, I'd say. You know, this was broken, but I sewed it back for you. Diabolical. So, I would get, instead of a quarter, I'd get an extra dime. I'd get 35 cents. So, you know, yeah, that. Wow. Oh, I, I didn't I, know I, you... I was a con artist. What a shock yeah. to me. And Carol Burnett was a criminal. <laughs> We're going to take a break. Carol Burnett is with us, so we'll be right back. I'm from the West Coast, and most of my folks still live out there, so naturally I don't get a chance to see them very often. So the first time I was on a television show back here in New York, I cooked up a secret signal, pulling my ear, which meant hello to my grandmother in California. Well, this was all right, but then my mother and my little sister wanted to know why I didn't have a special secret signal, which meant hello to them. So. The next time I was on a television show back here, this meant hello to my mother, this meant hello to my grandmother, and this meant hello to my little sister. Well, pretty soon the whole family wanted to get into the act. Only trouble is I come from a very large family. So I'm afraid the next time I'm ever on a television show back here, it may look a little bit like this. Quite a way, I can make my most fantastic dream come true. Celebrating her 90th birthday uh, on April 26th with uh, a special called Carol Burnett, 90 years yep. of uh, what life, uh, laughter, laughter and love. Laughter and love. Laughter and yeah, love. Yeah. Yes, more laughter or more love. Equal. Equal. It was equal. Yeah. That's good. It That's was... a good ratio. <laughs> yeah. You um, uh, gosh, I mean, there's there are so many things you've been a part of. You know, from that, what show was that that we just saw? Do you remember? That what... was I'm on the Gary Moore Morning Show. The Gary Moore Morning Show. Yeah. All the way to Better Call Saul, which yeah. you joined in the yeah. final season. <laughs> and, uh, and I know that uh -huh. you've been, a, I know you'd been an admirer of um, Vince oh, Gilligan, the creator yes, of that Vince show. Vince Gilligan, I, I, excuse me, I'm teary here. You <laughs> made me cry. Um, uh, <laughs> I loved Breaking Bad, uh -huh. and Vince Gilligan created that. Yeah. So then, when Better Call Saul came in, I was I naturally got hooked on that. And his partner was Peter Gould, and he he created it too. And then uh, I met Vince uh, and his wife Holly, and we had dinner. And he said, "You know, someday I may just write a little thing for you for Saul." I said, "I don't care if it's one sentence. I'll be I'll be there." And so he he wrote this and. It was a great moment for me uh, to play this character who finally brings down Saul. 
Yeah, you know, at the yeah, end. Yeah, sure. So it's like Mrs. Wiggins did him in. Yeah, Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Wiggins. <laughs> <laughs> You, um, I love Bob Odenkirk. I mean, we bonded. It was terrific. He's and, at your special. He was there oh, with yeah, you. Oh, yeah, and Ray Seahorn. Oh, she's so wonderful. They yeah. Are wonderful. You have uh, on your special, uh, I think Cher is on the special. Katy Perry is on the special. Yeah. Uh, Julie Peters, Andrews. Julie Andrews, my chum. Bernadette is with Peters. Me. Bernadette. Billy Porter. Oh, Billy Porter. Oh, yeah, and uh, Jane Lynch, Kristen Wiig, Allison Janney, Lauren Der Laura Dern. And my darling Vicky Lawrence. Yes, here. Vicky Lawrence. Yeah. Do you see Vicky much? Do you guys get together? As much as we can, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, she's just, uh, you know. Do you break into Eunice and she becomes mama? She becomes, what's weird? Or, or vice versa? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Well, that, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm You're Eunice, old, she's mama. a lot older than her. I'm 14, 15, 16 years older than Vicky. And it's, we hired her at first, she was 17, 18 years old. Is that true? So we got her out of high school. Yeah, I saw her in a contest, and we hired her. And, of course, today, no network would let us do that. You right, know, with no. a kid out of high school. And she was very kind of raw and, and uh, didn't have much experience, but we saw something there. And so we were doing stuff with where she was going to be my kid sister in a sketch uh, that we would do occasionally that Harvey and I were raising. We were married, and we were raising my kid sister. So she started out as my kid sister and wound up playing my mother. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's just wonderful. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Boy, I bet you people probably ask you all the time if you see her and they want to see know her. that you guys are together. We are very, very close. Yeah, yeah that's wonderful. That's great. <laughs> and even if you weren't, you should lie about it I'm because just... <laughs> it makes people feel a lot better. You also learned that one of our guests is going to be here this week you were on that show, Finding Your Roots, on, yes, on PBS. Yes, And learned that Bill Hader is related we to you in some cousin. way. We are distant, rela distantly related. Our, our, Maybe you can bring Barry to justice also. <laughs> Do you watch him? On yeah, Eunice takes him down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is it. Boy, that's something else. I, I know. Mean, it's just great, you know. Do, I mean, do you think there is something in your DNA that, like, I mean, there's some connection that makes you guys both, like, two of the greatest sketch comedy I performers no of all idea, time? I have no idea, but I'm, I'm very thrilled that we are related. Yeah. yeah. And have you gotten together to discuss this? And no, but he had a, a he, um, he had a, a family reunion, he said, of the Burnett family reunion, a party <laughs> not too long ago. He <laughs> did. That's he what was, he said. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, one that you were not at, That's but he was right. with the other Burnetts. <laughs> That's yeah. True. Yeah. Well, it's so great to have you Thank here. You I really darling. am so grateful for you to uh, be here with us. It's so and I cannot here. wait to see your whole life boiled down to an hour, really, right? I mean, two, two hours. Oh, two hours. All right, well, that's even better. Yeah. Carol Burnett, 90 years of laughter and love, April 26th on NBC and then on Peacock. Thank you, Carol. We'll be back.